Let's go through the steps to perform a synchronized cardioversion. Prepare the patient for the procedure according to your organization's protocol. The defibrillator is on and the patient is connected to an ECG cable. We are monitoring lead two. We're using this lead because it's the lead that gives us the tallest QRS complexes. You want to choose the lead with the greatest QRS amplitude or height. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, just that it's tall. Now press the sync button. The triangles on the ECG are the sense markers. They should appear near the middle of each QRS complex. Don't worry if the placement varies a little bit. If you don't see them at all, select another lead. The sync LED flashes with each detection. Prep the patient's skin and place the therapy electrodes using either anterior lateral or anterior posterior position according to your hospital protocol. Now press Energy Select and select the energy according to your medical protocol. We'll select 100 joules. Okay, now press Charge. Now it's fully charged and here you can see the energy available. If you need to, you can cancel the charge. Before you shock, look around. Make sure everyone is clear of the patient and clear of anything in contact with the patient. Make sure concentrated sources of oxygen are well away from the patient's chest. Look back at the screen and confirm that the sense markers are still sensing appropriately. Good. Now press and hold the shock button until it shocks the patient. That slight delay before the shock was delivered was because the defibrillator discharged on the next sensed QRS. Wait until you see the screen message energy delivered before you release the shock button. After the shock, assess the patient and the ECG rhythm. The physio control default for the LifePak 20E defibrillator monitor is to return to asynchronous mode after a shock is delivered. But your organization might have changed this default setup. Make sure you're familiar with how your 20E is set up for sync mode in your organization. If the arrhythmia persists and you want to shock again, press sync again. Confirm sense marker placement on the ECG, increase energy according to your protocol, and repeat the charging and discharging sequence. And that's sync cardioversion. Okay, let's go over a few troubleshooting tips. If you have everything connected and you get this message, connect electrodes, there may be too much patient hair preventing good contact. Remember to remove excessive hair before applying electrodes. Or maybe something is wrong with the therapy cable. Check your therapy cable daily using the test plug provided with your defibrillator. If you have everything connected and you get this message, remove test plug, remove the test plug from the therapy cable and connect the therapy electrodes. If you have everything connected but you get this message, connect cable, it's likely that something is wrong with the therapy cable. So again, check your therapy cable daily. If you have a patient in ventricular fibrillation and you're attempting to defibrillate but nothing happens when you press the shock button, check to see if sync is on. If it is, turn sync off and proceed with the defibrillation. For various reasons, some patients' ECG leads are of low amplitude and difficult to sense appropriately. If this is happening, select lead 2 or the lead with the greatest QRS complex amplitude.